Okay, today we're making a popper. Now again, I don't know if this is your official origami, but, I, and I didn't actually learn this one from my origami teacher. I learned it from kids in school, but nonetheless, it could technically qualify as origami. But this is another piece that starts with a square eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. And yeah, and it works best with these because it's got to be a little bit durable. Now what happens as you do it, you gotta, it takes a little bit of practice to get this to pop, but this little flap here opens up and as it does it, it pops. Oh, that was, that was bad. There we go. Oh, that was a good one. That's what it looks like when it pops. Let's try one more time. Kind of weak. Yeah. Okay, so let's learn how to make this popper. The popper starts with an eight and a half by 11 letter size regular printer paper. And what you're going to do is fold it in half lengthwise so that it's a long rectangle. Make sure those corners match up nice and fold it across. Get a fingernail in there. There we go. Okay, open it back up and we have a crease down the middle there. And now all we're going to do is take the four corners and fold them in to the middle. So here we go. That nice fold right there. this one in. Make sure that it's right on the center line. Let's do the side number three. And the last side. Okay. All right, there we go. Now, what we're going to do is just fold it in half. Okay, take this tip, this tip right here, and fold it to that tip right there. Those tips matching up good. And since this is such a, you know, it's not real critical on this one, it's more about the fun of popping it rather than how neat and cool it looks. So I, I, I can't say that the folds are all that critical on this, but for the sake of good practice, make, make it as good looking as you can. So we just folded it in half like that. Okay. Now we've already got a crease right here or fold. We'll lift it up, kind of make sure we got it fold all the way. Now we're going to do another one of those opening folds. This is the third time we've done this, so you should be a master at it by now. Okay, but make sure it goes all the way up in there. And all we're going to do is take this and squish it down. See that fold right there? Let's make sure that it lines up. Make sure it opens all the way to the top. And let's finish that fold. All right, see that? All we did was open it up and squish it down. Now, flip it over and let's do it, let's do it to the other side, okay? So we should have something that looks kind of like this. Well, it should look exactly like this, and if it doesn't look exactly like you're doing something different, so not kind of, should. All right, I'm holding this square that we have on the bottom. Let's fold this flap up. We have a crease right there. Now this thing, we are going to open up. Again, get your finger in there. Don't let these pieces slide out. Let's keep them together. Make sure it opens all the way to the top and squish it down. There we go. Really pretty easy. A perfectly fun thing. All right, we almost got our popper. These little thingies here, this is your handle. This is what you hold on to when you're popping away. So. At this point, all I'm going to do is fold it in half. It doesn't matter which way you fold it because the popper has two good sides. So if I fold it this way, 
here's my handle right here, and this this side, the inside part, is the part that's going to pop open. You might want to work it with your fingers a little bit before you try it. But this is the part that's going to make your popping noise, okay? So here's how you hold it, where there's these two little flaps down here. That's your handle. And as you really get your wrist into it like that, you, you know, this isn't enough motion to get it to pop out. You'll have to like get your whole arm into it. And, it, and it'll work better after you've popped it a few times, the more the paper works into it, or the more, pap the, more the paper bends around and, and gets moving, the better the popper will work. But that's, that's basically what's going to happen. As you do this motion, the air is going to catch it, and like a parachute opening, that pops open, and the paper claps together and makes a popping, clapping sound. Okay, so it's that motion right there. So we had it right there, folded it in half, and the inside part is what's going to fold out.